Uncle Bill's Shrimp and Green Bean Stir Fry. Here's a listing of the ingredients that will be needed in order to complete this recipe. Please pause the video and make a list. Trying to find the freshest ingredients always makes the best food, so shop smart. Now in our pan, we're gonna add a little bit of oil, heat it up nicely, and get ready to start cooking. Then we're gonna add our onions, and we're gonna cook these until they get nice and soft. The way that I do this is by checking and making sure that the onions get almost to a translucent or opaque color. When stir frying, make sure to keep things moving as this pan is hot and you don't wanna burn anything. Now let's add our garlic, about a tablespoon here, and start mixing it in. Oh, if you could smell this, so good. Now it's time to add the shrimp. Let's get this onion and garlic mixture all over the shrimp. Ooh, doesn't that look good? Now we add our ground ginger powder. If you're using fresh ginger, just add this to the onion and garlic mix prior to adding the shrimp. Ooh, that looks nice. Now that the shrimp are done, let's get to the beans. Get that hot oil in the pan, swirl it around. We're gonna add some more garlic. It's about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And now we're gonna add those fresh string beans. Let's get that garlic all over it. Stir, 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 flip, flip, flip. If you're enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button now. It helps us so much. We're gonna wanna steam these bad boys, so add about a half cup of water to your pan and get that water boiling. To help soften them up, we're gonna add a little pan to this to really steam thoroughly. It takes about five to seven minutes. Be patient. Let's take a look. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Notice how all that water's gone? That's what you wanna see. Now we're gonna add some hot bean paste. If you don't like spicy, you don't have to add it. I like spicy, so I add about a teaspoon and a half. We're also gonna add some oyster sauce to the mix. Makes this a little sweet and delicious. About six turns of our fresh ground black pepper. A pinch of salt. A drizzle of soy sauce. Now this is optional, but I like to add a little bit of cooking wine or what's called mijo. So good. I, as usual, I had some leftovers the other day, so I'm gonna add these mushrooms to the mix. You don't have to, but I don't like to waste, as you all know. If your mix looks a little dry, just add a little water. Just bring it to a boil and let it steam those mushrooms and cook the string beans the rest of the way. You want them a little soft, 
but you want to keep them firm still. These are fresh, not canned. Now I add two dashes of Chinese five spice. And once everything comes together, we're going to add our shrimp mixture with onions and garlic back into the mix. This is where we want those flavors to truly meld together. We're almost done. Family, if you could smell this dish, so good. Now a light drizzle of sesame oil, fragrant. That is it, family. Look at this. Succulent, delicious, healthy, and made fast. Ooh, yeah. I love it to zoom in like this. So good. This is how I set up for our family. You can do it any way you'd like. It always tastes good. Now for the real judge, my wife. How's it taste, honey? Oh yeah. Thanks for stopping by Uncle Bill's Kitchen. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please be sure to like and subscribe to receive updates on our next videos. It's free and it helps us a lot.